Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday of our winter wellness series. We are doing a talk today with a student. Um, so we're super excited. <laughs> we don't get to talk to real life students very often, us staff anymore. So very excited to have Ipsa Sharma join us today from the SSF. And um, we will be discussing morning wellness for students. Uh, Ipsa and I got talking about, um, we were just supposed to be promoing our uh, winter wellness last time, or excuse me, just our wellness. And we honestly got yapping so much about our morning routine that her and I decided that we would continue the conversation. Um, we had a lot of comments from people and um, on our comments section last time. And we had people asking us, you know, how do we, how can we, continue the conversation. So um, we thought the best way was to continue it on during our winter wellness series or our de-stress week for, for our SSF friends. And that's today. So um, we are excited to be talking to you guys again about morning wellness, specifically for students. Um, I'll share my morning wellness routine too and what I do to get myself energized and ready for my day. And Ipsa will be joining us and she will also be um, talking about her morning routine. So that's the student side of it. Um, Ipsa is a current student at Seneca um, doing a lots of online learning just as you are. So we're excited again to continue our conversation and discuss the importance, why it's such a good idea to have a morning routine, that you probably have a morning routine if you don't think you have a morning routine, you have a morning routine. Um, even if it's one that doesn't serve you, you have a morning routine. Each and every one of us has some sort of morning routine and it takes some time to perfect, but it can be done. And it's about the little changes. Um, I've really paid attention to mine over, I would say the last mm, three months or so and um, really made it all my own. And that's what it is. It's, it's about what works for you, what sets you up for success. It's trial and error. Um, sometimes it's a change of season even, um, you know, my, right now I'm doing a, a winter kind of wellness piece, but I don't know if, you know, that it would work. For, we'll see. But for now, um, this is my winter wellness routine and we're going to have Ipsa joining us right now and she'll talk about hers. Ipsa, Hi. how are you? Hi, Liz. I'm good. How are you? Good. It's good to see you. I'm going to turn my Same volume here. up on my phone here. It's good to see you. I just saw you talking with Mike about a promo for today. How yeah. are you today? Good. How are you? I'm, yeah. I'm like so excited uh, for yeah? today. Yeah. I know. I was just explaining how you and I had this conversation before. We both were so excited about our, our morning routine and how we knew that it was important for students and why. And we didn't have the time to continue our conversation. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to do that today with you. Um, I just want to introduce myself to everybody that my name is Melissa Souza. I am the Senior Wellness Coordinator in the Athletics and Recreation Department. And why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, Ipsa? Sure. So hi, everyone. My name is Ipsa Sharma, and I'm the Coordinator for Seneca Student Federation at York. Wonderful. Thank you. What program are you in? I'm in interactive media design. Lovely. Um, we were just talking about how you're a current student and that us staff get super excited when we get to talk to students these days. Yeah. So um, that was another reason, not just to just promo our, our items and talk about what events and cool things we've got going on, because we've got a lot, um, but just more to talk about um, other cool things. And especially this week, talking about our morning wellness and specifically for students. So let's Get right into it. Um, sure. You know, as a, as, a, as a current student yourself, um, why don't you tell our viewers what your morning routine is and um, then maybe we can get into why it's important to you. Sure. Um, so, well, I start off my morning with drinking lots of water because, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, keeping yourself hydrated is like mm -hmm. the most important things. And also, uh, I feel like water gives you a lot of energy. So you already yeah. feel energized to, you know, start up your day. And then mm -hmm. I do a little bit of my yoga. And if I have like 8 a.m. classes, then I then I don't do it. Like I do it after my class. But if I yep. have no class at like 9 to 10, then I do yep. it like whenever I wake up. I just, you know, like to move my body so that, you know, I am like I'm ready to start my day. That that helps start your day. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and then I just, you know, write all the things that I have to do within my day, like like a to-do list for myself. Yes. That's what yeah. I love to do because it, I, it just, you know, it's just a reminder for myself that these are the things that need to be done by today. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know what, sometimes I, you know, I was going to mention as we get down, but now's a good time to mention it, um, that our morning routine, especially when it comes to to-do lists, um, can start uh, the night before. Mm-hmm. So um, I found something for me is that um, setting myself up for success the next day for my morning routine really starts the night before. So sometimes it's, it's a start of my to-do list, especially if it's something early. Um, if it's something that I need to have done before I get my yoga in, because I also do yoga in the morning, mm-hmm. um, that I, I, have a, I start my to-do list. And the top of my to-do list just has the Thursday, the day of the week. And then I start writing down the times. If it's time-framed, sometimes that is for me. Um, I'll put at least my morning until about 10 a.m. Um, that I know what I, what I need to get done and at what time. Um, so that just in case my morning goes off a little awry, that I, I know what I need to get done in the morning. I Why do you find it. like it's important for you? What about what about like a to do list or um, even yoga? What about that? It, it makes, um, you know, in comparing to when you didn't do it to now that you have a morning routine, what would you say um, are the benefits or like what's why it's important to you now? Well, um, because first of all, like I'm a student and I'm an international student, so I am away from my parents, actually, so yeah. I miss them a lot. So, of you know, course. sometimes you, you feel depressed and sometimes you feel anxious because you have so many assignments to do and, you know, mm-hmm. so many things are going on in your mind, especially when, like, I don't know about domestic because, like, when I came in, like, I graduated from my high school and then I just came in here. So I believe that it is like we have to do part time job as well. So it would get like the whole day would be so busy and then you'll just feel stressed out. So I feel like doing yoga in the morning, it just gives you more confidence. It just gives you a kickstart for your day. And it also it's like, it's like, you know, giving yourself a gift in the morning. That's what I feel. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that so much because it really is. It. I couldn't have said that better myself. It really does. I get super excited about my morning routine. So I'm talking about wellness. Uh, yeah, I can but see that. That's perfect. That's like the perfect way to describe it. It really is a gift to yourself that you, and it's the gift that keeps on giving all day long. It really that is. is it is because you, once you've, once you've got a morning routine that works for you, it really does play out the rest of the entire day. I find for me, I have a cold shower. That's part of my morning routine, a part of it anyway. And um, it's just, I've just incorporated, I would say I'm in like two months and I do it every day. And it's been such a stress relief for me and a mood booster. And I feel it all day long and things that used to really stress me out or I would be quick tempered and be, you know, quick to anger over. I'm like, why am I not angry? Where's that anger? <laughs> How come I'm not? And I really do. I keep, I, and I'm paying attention. You know what? that was one of the things I've changed. And it was, um, you know, in reading and researching about cold showers, I was like, Oh, that was a part of it. Um, it's about your mood. And I, that was the, my reasons for doing it anyways. But I really do feel like it's, it's now that I do that in the morning, it's giving me this stress relief, and a mood boost all day long. And I really do notice a difference. That is true. I agree with you. But it is so hard for me to get a, get into myself into a cold shower. That's see, and that's what it where is all personal, right? So um, it's something that's worked for me, and I know that it's kind of a it's kind of a buzz in the wellness world right now. Yeah. These cold showers and cold water therapy, yeah. and so um, I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to try it out and um, see if it works for me. And it does. It's a little extreme, granted, um, but I was also in a pretty extreme uh, part of my routine because it makes me so excited. As I said, I was I was very focused on where my routine and where I wanted to go with it um, and how I wanted to feel in the morning. So for some people, I mean, we didn't mention you and I both do yoga, but another thing that students can do um, that would be just as relaxing, because some people are like, move my body in the morning, even if it is yoga, they're like, that's not really the time that works for me to move my body. So for some people, it's like journaling. Um, Even if you, um, you know, get a cup of tea and sit down by, uh, you know, like nice low light in the morning and write a couple lines. It could be just, you know, um, what you need to do that day. It could even be that, but it doesn't have to be. It can also be things like gratitude because that's a huge piece, right? Gratitude is about um, feeling, um, it's about being happy with where you are and what you have now, right? And it really does help to um, bring more happiness 
and joy into people's lives. That's been proven and is, is a very easy way and a very um, humbling way to start your day as well. So, um, you know, if you're not the type of person that likes to move, maybe that's another suggestion. Do you have any other suggestions that maybe you and I don't do, but that might be um, something a student could incorporate in their morning routine? Yeah, I think um, like people go out on morning walks. That's something that I wouldn't do because I, I don't like, you know, cold weather that much, yeah. but it's getting, it's starting to get warm again. It so is. I need to go out. But yeah, some people love to go on more because I have a friend who suffers from, you know, anxiety and disorders. So she, she, what she does is she just, just go out, like out in the sun and she just feels good. So yes. I believe that sun is really important for you guys. So if you could get any chance, you should, you know, go outside, see the sun for a while and then just come back in, but just go packed. You know, you yes. don't want to catch cold or anything. Yes. No, outdoors, because you and I were also going to discuss not just morning routines, but we, one of the things we wanted to discuss today as well was stress relief, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. know that at this time of year, and the reason why we do our wellness weeks and de-stress weeks this week um, is because we know that reading week typically brings on a lot of stress because we've got midterms, um, assignments that are due, that uh, all sorts of other fun stuff in school. So we know that this is a very mm -hmm. stressful week. Uh, leading up to an even more stressful week many times for a lot of students. So um, let's talk about stress relief then. You know, not only, of course, we, we us two morning <laughs> routine lovers know that our morning routine brings us um, stress relief 100%. Um, but, you know, as we start to feel it creep on in the day, um, what would you suggest for our students to do? Going outside is wow. a perfect one, and that's why I brought mm -hmm. it up now. Um, is there anything else that you can think of that, um, you know, as stress starts to creep in, anxiety starts to creep in and ways that we can kind of combat that and bring our stress levels down? Well, uh, what I believe is um, some people, like even me, sometimes we, we are the night out, you know, we, we don't, some people do not like to wake up early. And I was one of the kind and I am sometimes when you know, we have so many assignments to do. I don't yeah. sleep all night and then you have sleeping issues and stuff. But bef but like before you sleep, I would suggest that, you know, just close your eyes for a while and, you know, sit up straight and think about the things that matter to you. It's like focusing on what you want in life. And then, you know, it's just like for me, it's like sending out to the world that this is what I want and this is uh, I'm what I'm working on. And, you know, it's just something, it's just a, a way of gratitude, you know, showing your gratitude to the world, to the universe. And I believe that universe would somehow give the vibes or the energy back to you. That's, that's what I feel. And I, sh I think that before sleeping, you should, if you're not like religious person or something, you should mm -hmm. just close your eyes and think about like what you want in life. And I believe that you would, you know, somehow the universe would lead you to follow the same path. Yeah, it's kind of like a, if you speak about it, or you talk about it, or even think and thoughts on, on yeah. it, that, um, it, that it will be so it's one of those sayings, right? Um, I love that positive energy. Um, I know that I do that I, I send out positive energy during my meditation in the mornings that I do. And that's part of my meditation routine. Um, what you described is is a very much a meditation routine. It's a personal meditation routine. It's not um, meditation doesn't always have to be what everybody yeah. thinks is sitting and, and drawing a blank mind and, you know, and these things, um, for me, I do the same thing that you do. Um, I, I talk myself through, um, gratitude. I talk myself through positive energy and I send positive energy out to people, um, places or things that I feel like need mm -hmm. positive energy in those moments. Um, giving back always makes me feel better. And I know that that, um, is true for many people. So that's my way, my little way sometimes of just giving back. Um, and I call mind a mind right meditation, because I feel like it gets my mind right. Um, and helps me you. set up for 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 success. Um, and that for my personal success, and like for my personal peace, too, right? Like what you described was um, a feeling of peace, and a feeling of um, being um, going to bed without you know worrying and the stressing border. yeah you're 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 bringing more a calm state to your mind mm -hmm. in order to get the sleep because the sleep is extremely important <sighs> especially when we're stressed out and it's hard because i know that that's when students a lot of students start to cram right we call that cramming for a reason because you you stay up late and you try to cram the information into the brain that's tired and doesn't want to have it and then you just get frustrated and more stressed out and 
it's just a recipe for disaster. So sleep is a good one for stress, for sure. Um, one of the things I had on my list was to stop procrastinating. <laughs> so that I know that when I was a student, and I still do it, and I think it's just kind of a personality trait. Um, I have to catch myself from procrastinating the big things. So when I have a list of things to do, sometimes even if I have a timeline, I'll go, oh, maybe that one can wait till later. If it's the one that I, I know is, do it. is the big one, right? And I think everybody does it. So one of the things that helps with stress relief is if you tackle that big one, especially in the morning, because that's when our willpower and our mind and everything is more fresh, brighter, um, has more energy. Uh, we're just more in a better place to tackle those harder mm -hmm. tasks in the morning. So I try really hard to, 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 to knock them off in the morning. And it's another reason why doing yoga and my cold shower and all the, if I leave it as the day goes on, things get busy, things pop up. I want to do the things that matter to me most first and foremost. So giving yourself a morning routine does that too. That's why I love that you said it was a gift because it is yeah. a gift. It's a gift to yourself to, um, for things that matter. So for some people that might be drawing, um, it might be listening to music or writing music, um, being creative and whatever that is, it's a gift to yourself. I love that. I'm going to use that more often. Yeah, me too. Um, I feel like, you know, some, sometimes if you are not like, I believe that some people, they love to sleep a lot too. But mm -hmm. I would say that sleeping a lot is also not good for your health. Because, mm -hmm. you know, that the studies have suggested that um, sleeping a lot means that you're, you're, you're putting something off. So sleeping, like, sleeping is equal to ignorance if you're doing it, like, a lot. Mm -hmm. so you should just use it, like, for rest. Yeah. And then you should just be up. Like, yes. if you're sleeping a lot, it means you're ignoring something that you should be focusing on. Yeah. So I would suggest some physical activity so that, you know, there is this pattern w which could, you know, you could follow a pattern. It's not about, you know, getting up early. It's just about, you know, having a pattern or setting up your day. Yeah. Because I remember when I, when I used to be in, you know, I used to be in school, you know, as kids in, in middle school or high school, my mom used to say that you should wake up at seven, you should wake up and do this. And then I would feel so angry that it is my day and I want to start my day myself. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody in the morning. And I was mm -hmm. that kind of a person. But mm -hmm. then I realized, like, after that phase that, you know, it is like my 24 hours and I want to, you know, I want to do like my thing. Like, if I want to wake up at 10, I'll wake up at 10 and I'll follow the same routine. Like, even if I yeah. wake up late, then then I'll follow my morning routine. I'll drink water, I'll do my yoga, and then start off with my day and, you know, sleep late at night. It's yes. just like you follow the process. Yes. Yeah. I think that's important, too, that um, not every day is the same. And that doesn't mean that you failed at a day. Um, yeah. It's it's if you know if you've chosen to wake up at that time there's no problem with that at all mm -hmm. it's um still just starting a morning whatever your morning starts um and building success from there so for me that was always my routine so same thing with me i have two kids at home so mm -hmm. my mornings don't always start the way i want them to start and if they if my yoga doesn't make it until you know a little bit later on because i'm dealing with something with my kids or whatever maybe pop up um we all have things in our life right um, that doesn't mean that I'm not having a successful day. And there's always tomorrow as well. So it doesn't always have to be um, perfect. Yeah, I agree I, with that. Yeah. Um, so I think to um, recap and like just the what's what the benefits are for the students, um, for all students, um, that it does 100% affect your daily productivity if you have a proper morning routine and setting yourself up um, and, and getting up relatively around the same time. And like you were saying, not oversleeping, um, but for the for the majority, um, trying to set yourself a time where you know you've you it that suits you that makes sense, um, but that isn't oversleeping. I think that's important. Um, that's a benefit for sure. And it, I did read about how um, one of the things about the morning routine is that um, successful students they they state that successful students through studies um, are very highly organized students. Yeah. So. I agree. I think, uh, you know, uh, talking about our to do list, talking about getting up and doing a morning routine, all those things um, are, I think, habits of a successful student. And I think yeah. we all want to feel successful and want to build from there. And there, like we, we, we both said, there's lots of trial and error to, you know, why your morning routine and how you came to your morning routine and why it works for you. 
I know for me, it's been many years of practice and I think it'll always evolve. I think once you've got, you know, a job and God willing, you will, because I know that that's coming up I soon. Know. <laughs> you know, I know I heard you at the promo talking about that. And I know we talked about that this time. Yeah. This, it's like, there's so much going on um, with students. Of, and the midterms and school ending and then you're trying to find a job. It's yeah. very, 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 very stressful. I so believe I that know. it was, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just saying, I know I've been there. I've been there. Yeah. So I believe yep. that it would it was really easy when you were on campus because you know you meet people you make net you know you make connections and it's a part mm -hmm. of networking, but when you're at home and you don't know what to do you know you don't know where to start, so it is very difficult and especially for some of the students who are overseas like who are you know international who are not yeah. here in Canada it is it is like the whole time zone is different for them. Oh yeah. It's a whole other ball game. Yeah, you're yeah. talking about times of classes are different um, that, you know, I know the college is recognizing that right now and working on that. Um, I, that's one of the reasons why in Athletics and Rec anyways, all of our programming we've been uh, recording and that we play them and have them on a library on our website so that students can go back when the time makes sense for them, that we understand that all these lives that we're doing, as wonderful as they are, that they don't always make sense time-wise for everybody. So... I know that you guys are doing the same, that you guys have a library yeah. and um, other things going on on your website. Um, why don't we talk a little bit about what's coming up today? I know that um, we've had our talk today, but we've also got, um, for us in athletics and recreation, Mike Brain, who you just had the pleasure of speaking with for our promo, is doing um, No Bake Snowballs right here on IG at 12.15. So we're excited about that. Um, later on, we've got a boot camp with Chris at 12.40. Um, super sweaty, uh, fun and sweaty it's a good workout that's on zoom which can be found in our link tree here on ig or it can also be found on our website which is senecasting.ca mm -hmm. and i also wanted to plug tomorrow quickly um so similar to like this um part of our winter wellness series is that we are inviting lena zakaropoulos on at 11 o'clock tomorrow right here on ig live as well she'll be speaking with kim benno who is part of our staff in athletics and rec and they will be discussing online fatigue so lena comes from us from the um, Seneca Learning Center and she is the programs coordinator and she's amazing. She's got so many great tips. She had such great tips for everybody um, leading into a test and highly um, online kind of um, work work and study uh, week, I guess. And she did such a great job last time. I know the students were raving about her. They too have very much uh, a big plethora of stuff on their online library. So check them out if you can't catch that. And then we will be posting that on our IGTV as well. What do you guys have coming up in the SSF? So, um, so we have uh, this whole week is called the de-stress week. So on 26th, we have studying tips for students because we understand that there is, you know, lots of stress going on mm -hmm. between the students about, about, you know, exams and midterms. And I have my midterms too. So tomorrow we have that. Yes. And we will be updating our events more often, like more to our IT, uh, you know, stories and also the post so you guys can go watch there. And for the next month, we're going to do um, a live concert. So I wish that you guys could come there. We would have like lots of stuff and lots of surprises for you guys. So I would love for you all to join. <laughs> That's awesome. That sounds like fun. I know you guys always have some really cool stuff. And I love when we get to collaborate a little bit and yeah, share types of weeks that um, we both obviously see the importance of wellness for our students, which makes mm -hmm. me excited. And um, I can't wait to also after this call, we have a $35 well.ca gift card to give away. So um, if you see a DM from Seneca Noonan Rec telling you that you've won a gift card and asking you for more information, that will be me telling you that you've won so stay tuned for that for one of our lucky participants that were in our chat today and um i wish you all the very best next week i know Thank that it's a you. stressful time but if you stick to your awesome morning routine and um your positive attitude i know that you'll get through it in, with flying colors so good luck to you Ipsa. thank you thank so you for much, joining Vanessa. me today thank you, you be well and take good care thank bye, you. Everybody. bye bye everybody bye.